Outdoor Travel Channel with Robin Sherry, featuring RV travel, outdoor cooking, boating, and amazing road trips. Thanks for watching and let's begin. Don't forget to subscribe. Previously on Return to Washington Part 3, Rob makes it to the RV in Washington State after driving over 1,700 miles. In this episode, Part 4, Rob catches up with Sherry at the airport and they start the tour of Washington State. So, today's Saturday. Sherry's with me. We're all uh, settled in. Uh, lots of things going on in Anacortes. There's a shipwreck festival. There's uh, some Crab concerts season. last night. It's oh, opening crab season. Can you call it Cinder? Cinder. And we, the dog just left the RV. Which is no big deal. She won't go far. Come on. So we came back real quick after breakfast. We're going to go back to, out to, I mean the whole town is nothing but a swap meet. So it's kind of cold, lots of people. And uh, we came back to get Cinder because we don't like to leave her in the yard read too much. But uh, we'll try to show you a little bit what's going on. So Sherry and I packed up Cinder and started walking to downtown Anacortes. This is just outside the uh, marina. And then uh, just one block away is the beginning of complete mayhem. This was a gigantic swap meet called Shipwreck Day. And there was blocks and blocks of stuff for sale. Cinder was getting stepped on and pushed a lot, so we thought it would be a good idea to move on and try something else. Well, that was a complete zoo. <laughs> a lot of garbage, but there was some good stuff. Kind of hard to take Cinder through there. It was really crowded. So we're kind of breaking away and... Slowly walking back. Yeah. So, but yeah, it was fun. So once we left the shipwreck days swap meet, we were walking back through the neighborhood back to the marina. And I got to tell you, the summer flowers were just gorgeous in the neighborhood. So this is a little peek at some of the flower beds in people's front yards in Anacortes. It was so green and so colorful. And the plants were just popping with color. And so uh, this particular plants here was really great and at the end was a plant and I don't know what these are called but had multi colors of uh, purple and blue and you'll see it coming up right here and what a gorgeous plant now right here at the marina if you look straight across is uh, some land it goes out to a point so we decided to take the G40 camera out there and take a look All along this trail, you'll be able to view boats, the marina, and some beautiful, beautiful wildflowers. This trail is easy to access and anyone can use it. There's beautiful trees, there's beautiful flowers, and just gorgeous greenery. These madrona trees are really cool to look at and they grow only around salt water in the northwest only. And at the end of the trail there's a, a dome shaped cabana. And up in the roof we found some baby birds. And yes, mama just took off to go get some more food and they she will be back quickly. But these birds are about ready to leave the nest. But they were sure cute. And of course, more flowers. And then when you get to the end of the trail, you can also watch the boats go in and out of the marina. And this, don't forget, we're right across from a refinery, which is actually quite pretty at nighttime, but the boats are always fun to watch.
So we thought we'd come down to the dock and show you one of the boats that we've really been looking at. It's a pretty one. So that was kind of fun. We just got done helping a guy get his boat off the dock here. He's from Oregon and uh, cruising the summer. There that. Pretty good deal. And lots of boats. Someday. Hey, thanks for watching part four of Return to Washington. Stay tuned for part five when we tour the Washington State Park Loop. Please take the time to subscribe and watch some of our previous videos. Thanks for watching.